My name is Kenneth, and this is the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, in a village near the countryside, lived a widow woman and his son, Jack. They were so poor, they, they barely have enough money to keep themselves fat. One day, her mother, her mother thought, Jack, Jack, what shall we do? What shall we do? We don't have enough money to buy ourselves some food. Why don't you sell your cow best to the market today? Mm, okay, mother. So off Jack to the market. On his way to the market, suddenly there's an old man who greeted him. Good morning, Jack. Good morning to you, said Jack, wondering how did that old man know his name. Where are you going this morning, Jack? Well, I'm going to the market to sell my cow, Bessie. Hmm, don't you want to sell your cow to me? said the old man. Okay, how much do you want to pay? I'll pay you with three magical beans. And if you plant these three magical beans overnight, it will turn into a high, high and big beanstalk. It is really high until it reaches the sky. Hmm, okay then. So, so Jack took the three magical beans and gave the cow to the old man. And then Jack went back home. Mother, mother, I'm home. Okay, Jack, where's the money? Where's the money? Where's the money? Well, I don't get any money. But look at this, mother. Three magical beans. What? You foolish boy! We need money, not magical beans! Jack was really sad and was really angry. He quickly ran to his room and he threw the three magical beans away. Then he sleep. Oh. In the next morning, when Jack, when Jack wake up, he, he realized that something was strange in his room. He took a peek at the window and he was so surprised as he saw a really tall, tall and huge beanstalk. Jack quickly ran downstairs and he wants to climb the beanstalk. He climbs, climbs and until he reaches the cloud, he saw a castle nearby. Jack walks towards the castle and suddenly a lady giant calls him. The, legend, the lady giant offers Jack a uh, bread and some milk. Once Jack was eating the meal, suddenly there was a huge footstep. Doom, doom, doom. Jack quickly hide under the pot and, and the giant came in. Doom, doom, doom. Wife, wife, where's my food? I'm so hungry, give me my food. Okay then, just wait, don't, don't need to be shouting me. So then the giant waited. Giant was finished eating his breakfast and then Giant went to the closet to grab his hand and his golden harp. They, he put them in his bedroom. The hand can lay golden eggs and the harp can play a beautiful song. It's so beautiful, then the Giant went to sleep. Jack took a peek outside to see if the Giant was asleep. He quickly ran and grabbed the golden harp and the chicken. As he was walking to the beanstalk, suddenly the chicken cackled. Pka, pka, that wakes up the giant. Woo, woo, you little boy, let me eat you, let me eat you. Jack quickly ran, ran down to the beanstalk. When he reaches down, he called his mom. Mom, mother, mother, help me, help me, quickly give me an axe. His mother quickly rushed and gave Jack an axe. Jack cut, cut, cut the beanstalk and the giant realizing that the beanstalk is shaking. Whoa, why is it shaking? Jack cut, cut, cut and suddenly the beanstalk fell down. And now, Jack and his mother live happily ever after. The end. Moral value of this story is, if you have lots of money and rich, you can share them to the poor people, just like Jack and his mother. Thank you for listening.